For many of you all who are parents who've ever had a child who had a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese, you know exactly what this is. What I possess in my hand is a token. What this token represents is access. A couple of weeks ago, we just celebrated my son Micah's ninth birthday party. Micah decided to have his birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. Those of you parents who ever had parties for your child at Chuck E. Cheese, you know it's a crazy experience. I gotta admit, whenever I walked in there, I tried to play the daddy role, play it cool, but you know, I got caught up in the mix, so I had a little fun myself. The kid in me came out. As we were there, Micah invited a lot of his friends from school. You know, we had pizza that it, it, it was included in the party packet. We had drinks, we had soda, we had cake, we had the whole nine yards. But in that party package was also included tokens for access to play games and win prizes and things like that. As we were there, Carl was distributing the tokens among the kids as they came to the party. Some of the kids came up to me and said, I want some tokens. So I said, I don't know who you are. I have to check with my son, Micah. Micah, who is this child? Micah had to tell me, Daddy, it's okay. That's my friend. He's with me. You can give him a token. So I then distributed the tokens. As the kids came up and they ran out of tokens, they kept coming to me and they said, hey, can I have another token? A couple of kids there we were not familiar with. We didn't know who they were. If it wasn't for Micah, who interceded on their behalf and said, daddy or mommy, they're with me. It's okay. You can give them a token. What this token represents is access. There was a revelation that I got in this whole situation. And I thought about how it was whenever we go to God or whenever we have friends uh, who are not quote unquote saved or Christian. One thing that God showed me in this was a powerful revelation. And it showed to me how whenever we have people who are not born again believers and they see uh, men and women of God who are accessing uh, the wonderful blessings of God and, and experience ama amazing amounts of favor and, and God is blessing them tremendously and they want access to the blessings that God provides. But if they don't go through the sun, they cannot access the kingdom or the benefits of the kingdom. I'll take it to the scripture. Jesus says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. That simply means we cannot have access to the heavenly Father or to this great kingdom or the, or the kingdom blessings unless we go through a son, his only son, Jesus Christ. We cannot access the Father except through him. Once we come to Jesus Christ and we accept him as our Lord and our Savior, and we give him everything we have, we open up our heart to him, we allow him to come in to be Lord over our life, that's what he allows us to get access to the blessing, to the kingdom. You cannot have access to the kingdom unless you go through the sun. I remember old saying that says, be careful how you live your life because you may be the only Bible that most people read. It's time for a checkup from the neck up. I would encourage you to get to know him better. One love. Peace.